Hello friends, in this project, we are going to make an IoT connected device using the Tuya IoT platform and ESP8266 module. So the first step is to make a product in the Tuya IoT platform. Sign up or log in to iot.tuya.com. Then click on Product and choose Development. From the Product page, click on the Create button. Now click on the Lighting tab and then select Light Source. Then select Custom Solution and choose Light Source. Now enter a name for your product, check the option Wi-Fi under Protocols. After this process, the system will ask you to configure the default device control functions. Leave these three functions as default and click OK. Now we need to get our token, for that send the PID of the device we just created in the Tuya IoT platform and the Tuya account email ID to devops at tuya.com. After some time you will receive your token code in reply to the email. Now sign up or log in into pms.tuya.com. After login click on Production Manage, Work Order Manage, Activation Code. Now paste the token we received in the email, click Confirm. Now a pop-up will appear saying Production Certification Confirmation. That's it, now the token is activated. Now we need to burn authorizations for ESP8266. Download and install the Tuya firmware burner, the link will be in the description. Then log in with using your PMS account detail and then click online login. You can choose automatic login, and remember the password if needed. Then from the file menu select setup under basic settings, you must set up burning board to 921600 and click OK. Now click enter token and select token from the pop-up window. Paste your token ID to the provided field, select firmware download checkbox, and from the select workstation drop-down list select burning authorization. Then click OK. Now connect the ESP8266 board to your computer and choose the right COM port. Now click Run. The burning process will take a few seconds, wait for it to finish and a success message will be displayed. Now let's upload the code to the Arduino. First, we need to install the Tuya MC SDK library. Go to Sketch menu select Include Library, and choose Manage Libraries. Now search for Tuya MC SDK and click the Install button. Now go to the examples from the File menu and from under the Tuya library select the Start program. Now we need to change the PID in the code to the PID of our device and also change the MCU version. You can find the MCU version from the firmware burning software. In my case it's 3.1.1. Now choose the right board and port, and click upload. Now let's connect together the ESP8266 with the Arduino and a push button for the reset option. Connect the VIN of the ESP to the 5 volt of Arduino. Connect the RX of the ESP to the TX and the TX of ESP to the RX of Arduino. Then connect the ground of ESP to the ground of Arduino and also connect on of the terminal of the push button to the ground of the Arduino. Finally connect the digital pin 7 of the Arduino to the other terminal of the push button. Now download and install the Tuya Smart from the Play Store or App Store. Then open the Tuya Smart app, for testing, you can use the app as a guest user, click on Try Now. Now click on Add Device. There will be a bunch of devices listed as categories, for us, we are choosing Light Source Wi-Fi from Lighting tab. Now choose your Wi-Fi network and enter the password and click Next. Now press and hold the push button for 3 to 4 seconds. After releasing the button, the inbuilt LED on the Arduino will start to blink. Select confirm the light is blinking rapidly and click next. 
Now the app will scan and add the device to your app dashboard, it may take a while to scan and add the device. Now it's testing time. In to your smart app dashboard you can see that our device is added. Try click on the power button and see the inbuilt LED on the Arduino is toggling. That's it guys, we have learned to use ESP8266 with the Tuya IoT platform. Now you can start trying different setups like connecting relay channels instead of just LEDs and control your home appliances. If you like the video please do subscribe for watching more such interesting tutorials and projects.